Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make Trailer Park Pizza. Now, I didn't come up with that name, but this was suggested by Tina Shatlow, I believe her name was. Um, it's a great suggestion. It's something perfect for a live stream, and we're going to do this live. So it was a good recipe because it only took takes about 20-25 minutes or so in the oven to cook. So we can do that and we can talk and hang out. So that's why I chose that recipe. And I hope everyone's doing well tonight. Yep. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Byron. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Mike. Hi, Apocalypse. Hi. Um, who else? Uh, yes, you catch a live one. Barut00. Hey, James. I'm watching this as I study for English midterms. Oh, well, I hope you do well in English midterms. Don't listen to anything I say because I do horrible in English all through school, high school, college, everything. English was not my best subject. So don't listen to me. Make sure you hit those books. Studying is very important. Speed Squad, hello. Hello, how are y'all doing? So we're going to get right into this. Uh, I'm just saying hi to everyone. Uh, Jay Hunte Cole, hi, how are you doing? So we're gonna get right into this recipe. This was a suggested by suggested recipe by Tina Shatman, Shatlaw. I'm sorry if I messed up the name. Uh, she said that Angry Grandpa had made this before, so it was a variation of her res uh, his recipe. And I said, why not? This would be a good one to make for a live stream. Now I've already done some preparation. I have cut up two strips of bacon into like one inch squares, and I fried them. I want to do that ahead of time so it'll be all ready to go when uh, we do this live stream. And also, the pan I used for frying the bacon, I left the grease in there. Now that's just something I chose to do because you know I want that grease in there. It's, it's You could oil the pan and empty the grease out if you like, but I think that bacon grease will add a nice little flavor to this. I'm gonna angle this downward so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, let me go over to the comments again. Hi, hi everyone, hi Michael Hooper. Hi, hello Jess uh, Vinstra, hello. Hi, um, watching while doing, I don't, um, hello. Uh, Japanese homework, okay. Uh, yes, Angry Grandpa, RIP to him. So this is a variation of that recipe, it seems. So hello everyone, thank you all for watching. Uh, we're gonna go right into this. So here is my cast iron pan. Now of course when you're using a cast iron pan, you don't wanna use the one with like a, a rubber strip because we're gonna put this whole thing in the oven. And it's very hot because I just fried bacon on it. There's the bacon grease in there. The first thing we need to do is use these Grands, the recipe calls for these Grands biscuits. Now these are the honey butter, butter, honey butter ones. I can't talk. I usually use buttermilk, but this is what the recipe calls for. So we're gonna open this up and try this out. And you should hear a pop if we did it right. Yep. Voila. All right. So we're just gonna fill these up. Separate these. They're already pre-cut. Um, we'll see how many we can fit on there. This is a small pan and they will expand when when you cook them. So I'm going to put one in there. In there. Let's see if we can get them all in there. Don't want to waste anything. Squeeze them all in there. Yeah, we can get them all in there. There we go. So they're all in there nice and tight just like that. And let's move this out of the way. And let me go over to comments, see how everyone's doing. Hello from Oregon. Hello, how are you? Um, let's see, John Move, hi, how are you? Shout out John Move, huh? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hope everyone else is doing good. Uh, so now we have our Grand's Biscuits in our pan. I've also preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It's almost there. You'll know when you hear a musical thing playing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just using this pizza sauce. You can make your own pizza sauce if you like. And this is already pre-made pizza sauce, so it'll be perfect for the live stream. And what we're going to do is cover the top of this just like you would if it was a pizza. Okay. 
And like I said, these live cooking demos are always fun. And I always look for some good suggestions for live cooking demos because it has to be something that we can make quickly. And, you know, so it can't be too involved and take too long to cook. All right, so that's good. Set that aside. Next, what we need to do is put some mozzarella cheese on here and just shredded cheese. And I'm just going to take my shredded cheese. I like lots of cheese, so we're going to put a lot of cheese on this thing. Just cover it up with lots and lots of cheese. I think that's good. I don't even have to open my other pack. I think that's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a little more, a little more cheese. Why not? All right. Yeah. Cheese is good. <laughs> so we'll do a little bit more cheese here. Try to keep the cheese more towards the middle than the edges, just like any normal pizza. All right. So that's good. So we got that. Now what we can do is come over to our bacon that I already pre-cooked. Um, of course, there goes my smoke detector. Hold on one second. <laughs> smoke detector is going off. My oven is telling me it is at 350 degrees. Nothing like a live broadcast to make everything go wrong. But perfect. Okay, so we'll be careful. Um, I pre-cooked this bacon. I probably cooked it a little too much. Probably shouldn't have cooked it quite that much, but what the heck? I like bacon. So we're going to just put bacon on here or any kind of meat you'd like. There we go. Actually, and then I have these pepperonis. Again, if you like, you know, sausage or ground beef, whatever you like, it, it's all up to you. So I'm gonna put a few pepperonis, probably one more. And I'm just gonna do a slight layer of cheese on top. Not a lot, just a very little bit. So when it melts, it kind of holds that pepperoni and uh, bacon in place. But I don't like a lot of cheese on top. All right, so that's it. So now we're gonna take this, put this over into the oven, and we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees and anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. And here we go. Set my timer. All right, so my timer's set for 20 minutes because we're gonna check it at 20 minutes. Oh, hey, hi, twins. Our twins life is here. Hello. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I'm missing all these comments. Um, let's see. We'll go up there. Hey, how are you doing today? Uh, what's your favorite band? Like, um, I like the Scorpions. <laughs> uh, hi, Philadelphia. Make movie theater popcorn. Tried with questionable results. Huh. Um, pita bread is awesome. Pizza bread for trailer park pizza. That's good. Good suggestion. Uh, that request I sent you for Kool-Aid breaded fried chicken would make a great live cooking. I'll have to look into that for sure, Alex. Thank you. And of course, uh, we thought it was ours. Uh, yeah, y'all did a live stream. I missed your live stream. I'm talking to our twins life. Uh, I missed your live stream. I didn't see it until afterwards. I was like, darn. <laughs> and I was setting everything up for this. Uh, Mike, hey Mike, how's it going, Mike? Bacon makes any food better. I couldn't agree more with you, uh, Tasha. Make pepperoni rolls. I have made similar uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ethan Shuts, hi, how are you? Joker Gregory, hi, always like cooking fast food. Yes. Um, so how is everyone doing today? I am, we're, we have some time now. We have like 20 minutes before this cooks. So we can talk, ask questions, comments, anything you'd like. Um, if you want to talk about past recipes I made, future recipe suggestions, that's great. Um, events that I'll be going to, 
anything, just any questions, fine. Um, and then, of course, I'll show you a little progress of how the pizza's coming along. I'll point the camera in the oven, um, probably about halfway through, so you'll see how it's coming. But for right now, we'll just get right to the comments. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Emilio, or Emmanuel Durant, salute us. You're a great chef. Thank you. Uh... Cool sickles. <laughs> I like that saying. Cool sickles. Pretty cool. Uh, try making Roman pizza, please. Roman pizza. Oh, good. Good suggestion. Alex says, I used your deep fried butter recipe to make cinnamon rolled flavor pancakes with that glaze you showed. Oh, how was it? I hope it was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the best part. You can make uh, certain things using parts of other recipes I do. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, please, Disney Pixar's Up will be something fun. Yes, I have to do something themed Disney Pixar's Up. That's a good movie. Um, it's one of the few movies that really made me sad from Disney. Uh, Disney Pixar's Up, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Good. Yep. But hopefully everyone's doing good this Thursday or this Tuesday. I'm saying it's Thursday. It's not Thursday yet. So hopefully everyone's doing good. Hopefully you had a good weekend this past weekend. And hopefully you'll have a good weekend next weekend. Um, so, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. So let's go over to the comments. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, James, when you are making the pizza. Oh, I, I just have, I have it in the oven. I made it real quick right at the beginning. So if you missed that part, you could always replay this when the, the live stream ends. You can see that first part. It's in the oven right now, and I will show you how it's coming along. Actually, why not? I'll show you right now. I'll show you how the pizza is coming along. And I have to pull a couple things out of the way. I have all these wires and stuff but we will boss baby <laughs> so let's see we'll take this over and let me switch this so I can see you can see my nice dirty kitchen um, let's take a look in the oven and see if we get a good angle so that's the pizza it's in the oven it's on the cast iron dish it's coming along okay so that back up there live streams are always difficult because I have an external mic right here that I have to like adjust for <laughs> so we'll give another update on that in just a moment but let's see let me read the comments again uh, I made your leftover Halloween candy cheesecake. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. I like that one. I, I always look for something to do with leftover Halloween candy, and it's just fun. It's it's fun to just play with it and do something with it. I said cheesecake. Why not, right? Uh, so, Internet's going crazy because Boss Baby was nominated for Oscar. Uh, yeah, I, I, didn't see the vi I didn't see the movie, so I really can't make a judgment. I heard bad reviews about it, but I, you know, I didn't see it, so I really can't comment and say, okay, it should have or it shouldn't have. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it was one of the movies that should be nominated, but mm, who knows? <laughs> uh, put an over easy egg on it, and voila, you have something awesome. True. Uh, over easy egg's pretty cool on there. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I love the power glove. It's so bad. Power glove. I don't know what that is. Uh, do you like Rosanna Pancino? Yes, I do. I've met her, uh, three times now, all at VidCon. And, um, and actually the funny thing is I'm going to, in February, in two weeks, I'll be in Anaheim at LA Cookie Con. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet her there again because she's going to be there. I was invited to come out there and show how to make my Everlasting Gobstoppers. So I can't wait to do that. It's the first time I've ever been to that particular show, LA Cookie Con. And um, I don't know what to expect, but it looks like it's going to be a fun event. So I'm flying out there in like two weeks. So I can't wait. 
Um, so yeah, Rosanna Pancino, she's been doing this for a while. She makes some really cool recipes and real nice lady. Um, really cool to talk to and everything. Looking good so far. Thank you. Uh, how about you make Mountain Dew cheesecake? That's, that's a great suggestion. A couple people have made that suggestion and let me tell you, it is on my list of things to make. Every Saturday from now on, I'll be doing Mountain Dew videos and every Sunday you'll get your normal videos. Every Tuesday night I'm gonna try to do a live stream and I'm hopefully put another video, a bonus video out on Thursday nights. So that's my plan going forward. I'm trying to make more videos. Um, I've been putting in a lot of work. I've made a lot of videos ahead of time, especially with travel coming up too, because not only am I going to LA Cookie Con next month, but I'll be going to Europe for VidCon uh, um, Amsterdam. Uh, Vincar, VidCon EU, it's called Europe. but. Uh, in Amsterdam, but I'm also going to be stopping by friends' houses in Ireland and Scotland and just going to be, I'm actually going to be in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day, so I'm really happy about that. Let's see. Uh, love pizza. Can't wait to see it completed. Me too. I can't, because I haven't made this recipe yet, so I can't wait to see it. Can you try to make some pumpkin ice cream? Oh, I am not a big fan of pumpkin, but I have made a couple of recipes. I've made, actually I've made a, I think a pumpkin cheesecake at one time a couple years ago. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie, so. <clears throat> uh, you prefer over hard, oh, instead of over medium eggs, you prefer over hard, okay, yeah. Uh, you two should do a video. Hey, I would gladly do a video with Rosanna Pancino, but I don't think it would benefit her as much as it would benefit me because I have way less subscribers and reach than she does. Trust me, I would do a video with her any day, but you know, uh, I understand if she didn't doesn't want to do a video because it's a lot of work to do a collaboration and she wouldn't benefit very much because I only have around 90,000 subscribers and she has like, I don't know, close to 10 million. I don't, I don't know the last time I checked uh, how many she has, but she has well over millions. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it wouldn't benefit her very much, but obviously I would be happy to do it. <laughs> um, was it Blue, I can't say that, Blue Armin? Hi, Blue Armin 14, hi, hi, how are you doing? Homemade, homemade slushies. Yes, I've made homemade slushies before. I made quite a few different ones. I made Kool-Aid slushies. I made Mountain Dew slushies. They're a lot of fun. Try making something anime style. Okay, I like anime, like the art, like the art, I guess. Huh, pretty cool. Um, Doweed Boston, there's a cookie con. Yeah, I yeah, there's a cookie con in LA. It's the same place that VidCon is held at the Anaheim Convention Center, but it's called the Cookie Con. And it's not just cookies, it's cookies and sweets. So it's, you know, it's not just cookies. But yeah, I've learned about that and I said, wow, this is a really cool thing. Uh, they're gonna have like Duff Goldman, Goldberg there. They're gonna have like Ron Ben Israel. Of course, Rosanna Pancino and Lee Strahan from My Cupcake Addiction. Um, really cool people. And I was honored to be asked to go. So, <laughs> uh, is the video working for anyone? I hope the video is working for you. Um, hopefully, everyone's seeing me on here, right? Hope so. It says it's a healthy stream. So, hopefully, it's working out good. Mm. <clears throat> You like cheese pizza. Yeah, I like cheese pizza too, uh, but sometimes I like something with like, actually I like ground beef on top of my pizza sometimes. Of course, pepperoni. It depends on the place I get my pizza from. So if I get it from like Pizza Hut, I like pepperoni on there, but I also make, I don't want like any cheese on top of my pepperoni. I want the pepperonis on top because I want them to, to cook nice and crisp. So I'm kind of picky. Uh, why are you so obsessed with Mountain Dew, dude? Yeah, um, it, well, it's not even, the funny thing is, I'm not a huge fan of Mountain Dew myself, uh, but a lot of people like those recipes, and a lot of them ask for it, so I try to make it, and I have family members who love Mountain Dew, so I make it, share it with them, they're happy, I'm happy, uh, it gives me another thing to make, and people like it, and it, I think it's a fun recipe to use, fun ingredient to use in a recipe 
because it's like you can really do just about anything. It's almost a challenge for me to try to find something different to make with Mountain Dew. I kind of took up that challenge. I said, okay, great. <laughs> um, let's see, where are we? Um, oh, where are we? There, there, there. Um, what about Pepsi? Um, yeah, you can use just about, like all my Mountain Dew recipes, you can pretty much use those for just about any soda, whether it's Pepsi, Coke, uh, just about anything. Yeah. Have you considered making like a vlog schedule? Um, I will be doing some vlogs. In fact, this Saturday I'll be doing a charity event called the Polar Bear Plunge and I'll film that and I've gone to it the past seven or eight years. I can't remember. And it's, uh, it's a polar bear plunge that raises money for Special Olympics in Maryland. And you go into the icy Chesapeake Bay and you raise money for that. And the money goes to the special athletes. And I'm happy. I love doing that every year. And it's a real fun event. They have everything from like live music and games and stuff like that. So I will be filming that. Now the video might not come out until let's say the the following week so i'll film it on saturday i'll probably put it up on let's say a thursday night or so uh just as a vlog and i'll be doing a lot of vlogs while i'm traveling because i'm going again like i said to la cookie con in a couple weeks and i'll be going to europe in, in the next month so i have a lot of travel planned and i will vlog when i travel so i do plan on sharing a lot of vlogs um let's see Hi, uh, Nightmare Voris. Hi, how are you? I recognize the name. Mountain Dew is good, but it cannot. Uh, your teeth. Yeah, it can rot your teeth for sure. Uh, faster than other sodas. <laughs> yeah, brush your teeth, James. Yes. Uh, it would be fun to watch your vlogs. Well, thanks. Like I said, I do have plans for vlogs. Your favorite Mountain Dew Black Label. That's a good, good choice. Um, Kirby... Uh, I did a substitute Mountain Dew for cheaper blue raspberry flavor tasty. Okay. Do you think you can make lollipops by melting fruit flavored cough drops, please? Really? Lollipops out of cough drops? I don't know. That sounds weird to me. Um, I guess it's good if you're sick and you have a, a sore throat. You just make lollipops out of cough drops and then, you know, it's like you're eating candy, but you're really eating something that can help you know, soothe your throat when you're sick. Yeah. Uh, love the hearts and the little emoji things. How to make Mountain Dew black label for a party. Um, oh, but only at uh, 240p. Yeah, sorry about the bad, um, the, the bad, was it 240p instead of 1080p? I don't know why it did that. I thought I had my settings set for 1080p, but mm, I don't know. Uh, yes, we see you. Okay, good. James, why isn't the quality like your videos? Uh, the quality because live streams are strange to set up on YouTube, to say the least. I'm no expert at setting up live streams on YouTube. I, I have to get better at it. Um, for whatever reason, they give you options. I thought I saved it in the settings at 1080p, but apparently it's 240, which is really bad. Um, anyway, music... Any music you're anticipating, I'm planning on starting an album review series. Huh. Yeah, um, I'm not really big on... I, I like music after it comes out, and I hear it a few times. I'm like, oh, I like that. But I don't really, like, anticipate anything. Hmm. Uh, the best chef in the world. Uh, care. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, uh, Dewad Boston. If you know the... My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Franchise. Try making something using one of those characters. Oh, that's a good suggestion. I'll definitely, My Little Pony. I know a lot of people like that, um, My Little Pony. Um, so, yeah, that's a good suggestion. Hi, James. Uh, do you cook for other people? Um, only, like, friends and family members for the most part. Not really, like, not as a career or anything like that. I don't, like, have a restaurant or anything like that. Hi, it's me again. I can't wait for the recipes. Oh, thank you. Um, 
Like I said, I got about three minutes. It's in the oven cooking. So for those of you who joined a little late, uh, it's in the oven cooking right now. It has about three minutes left. I'm going to just take a peek at it. Oh, yeah, it's coming along good. Uh, so it has about three minutes left, and we I will pull it out so you can see it. And it probably won't be done in three minutes. Um, probably would need another five minutes. But um, let's see. It's, you can't wait for us. Uh, hi from the UK, Dave Roth. Hi, hi, how are you? I will be in the UK in uh, another month or so. Summer in the City, London. I don't have any plans for Summer in the City, London. London. I have gone to it one time before. Uh, it wasn't this past summer, but the summer before. Um, I don't have any specific plans for that, but my plans might change. I might go. I don't know. Uh, Kyler says, I will probably be making this pizza. Pizza is your favorite food, and I'm always looking for new ways to enjoy it. Well, yeah, aren't we all? <laughs> Uh, you think you can make lollipops by Mountain Fruit Flavor Culture? I think I just read that a minute ago. What is your favorite Mountain Dew? Um, I, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Mountain Dew, but just a regular classic Mountain Dew. Um, the red one, what is it? Code Red? That was okay. Uh, why don't you live stream from your phone? It's easier. You're right, it probably is easier. Um, and probably you know would be much much easier and i might do that in the future we'll see um it's probably a little harder to um monitor comments though i would imagine and plus you know i could set it up on a i you know a tripod or something but it's just a little easier with my laptop just to set it up there as i'm cooking and stuff um ignore my last message it was a repeat oh, okay no problem you can cook for us anytime, our twin life. Hey, y'all are welcome anytime up here. So if you're ever in the Maryland area, go ahead and stop on by. I'm talking to our twin life. Uh, uh, they're good people. Go check them out. They do vlogs. Four years now, I think it, it was. I saw that you've been doing it now for four years, daily vlogs. That's pretty cool. Um, they have two twin boys, uh, the mother um, and uh, Jason. Uh, good people. I met them at VidCon. Uh, I met Jason a couple years before at VidCon, but um, them I met at VidCon. They're really cool. Um, go check them out if you get a chance. So let's see. Do you like 90s music? Yeah, I do actually. Backstreet Boys and Sync. Uh, yes, I do like. I'm a real big fan of the 80s music, but 90s music I like, you know, because I graduated in 94. So uh, yeah. Uh, you're he's Dr. Love. You're a big fan. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, James. I've always enjoyed your video so much. Uh, you make delicious food and easy to make. Please keep your videos coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really love the comments that people are making, and I really appreciate it because I love doing what I do. I'm going to take a peek at the food real quick before I get back to your comments. Okay, let me show you what we got. You can hear that's my timer saying 20 minutes is up. Okay, so oh, let me pull this so you can see. So let's see, this is what it looks like right now. It's coming along. I, you know, I want it to get a little more like golden brown before we move on. So I'm gonna put another five minutes on the timer. Hold on one second. So I think another five minutes will be good. Uh, let me go back to the comments while we wait. Uh, who do I want to win the Super Bowl? Okay, so it's hard for me. My nephew is a big Eagles fan, so part of me doesn't want them to win because he's a big Eagles fan. <laughs> I know that's mean, but um, but the other part is, you know, the Patriots. It's like with the dynasty, you know, I remember rooting for Tom Brady the first time he went, um, but then it's hard. It's, I mean, he is the greatest quarterback of all time for sure. I mean, no doubt about it. Um, but it's also you always want to root for someone else. You know, the underdog. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's one of those, you know, good luck to him, but I don't know. <laughs> I just hope it's a good game, not a blowout. That's all I really root for. Hey, Stephen, my friend Stephen is here. Stephen H., uh, evening, James. Sorry I'm late. Oh, no, I'm glad you're here. Uh, let's see. We're just waiting on my pizza to finish baking, cooking, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. 
how can I mix this hot cocoa mix into my pumpkin cookie mix? Wow, hot cocoa mix into pumpkin cookie mix? Hmm, I don't know, that's, that's strange. <laughs> but then again, I make strange food all the time. So, is it pizza time? Uh, almost, it is, it looks like another three minutes or so. I'm just kind of watching it right now. Um, let's see, where am I? Okay. Uh, watch the Eagles win the first half and then the Patriots. Yeah, the Patriots are a very good team that comes out in the second half. And that's really, you have to give a lot to the coaches. They make adjustments and they make the right adjustments. And that's coaching. Of course, the players still have to perform. So, You plan on a Valentine's Day recipe? No, I don't have a Valentine's recipe planned yet. Doesn't mean I won't make one. It's just I haven't planned it yet. I want to come to your house in Wisconsin. Uh, you want me to come to your house in Wisconsin? Yeah. Um, I'm nowhere near Wisconsin. Sorry. <laughs> How do you live stream on here? Uh, on well, you have to go to the live stream thing. Is there's a little live button on the side panels, like under your Creator Studio on YouTube? Um, let's see, four years daily. Yes. So our twin life, four years daily. Uh, do you watch the Goldbergs? Yes, I do, because like I said, I was an 80s kid myself, so I watched the Goldbergs, because a lot of this stuff reminds me of my youth, and um, like when they went to space camp, I love that, because I wanted to go to space camp so bad, but we didn't have the money to send me to space camp, so it, it was just fun to watch, you know. I love Deep Creek Lake, Deep Creek Lake area. Pretty, oh yeah, you're right, Deep Creek Lake is a pretty area. Hello, uh, Meek Rashid. Thanks, James. It was awesome meeting you, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, Blue Armin 14 says, good night. Good night, Blue Armin 14. 80s music is awesome. I agree with you. Going to try Mountain Dew Jam for my son? Yes. I, I hope it works out good. I'm not an expert on canning, but um, that was my first time canning anything. But, you know, the Mountain Dew jelly, some people argue and say it's not jam, it's jelly, but People call it certain things. It's not like, you know, yes, technically it's jelly, not jam, but hey, it's fun. I grew up listening to 80s and 90s music. Me too. <laughs> uh, please make Digimon themed cookie base off of tags and crust of Digidestiny. <laughs> I don't even know what that word is, but uh, Digimon. I'll have to look up Digimon. I don't even know what Digimon is. <laughs> Have you ever heard of The Offspring? Yeah, the music, The Offspring, yes. When did you discover your passion for cooking, baking? Early on, I discovered that food tastes good, and especially desserts and stuff, so the easiest way is to make it yourself, right? Is this like uh, AGP's pizza he made? Yeah, um, and this was a suggestion, um, was the name Tina, Tina, I put it in the description of this video, Tina suggested this saying that uh, Angry Grandpa, you know, made this and it was a variation of that. So yes, it is Angry Grandpa's like variation of a recipe. I'm going to pull this out of the oven now and I'm going to put it right up here. Let me uh, set this up so that y'all can see it when it first comes out of the oven. Let me see. Look at that. Look at that. So of course, like I said, using a cast iron skillet like this is perfect because it you can take it and put it right into the oven. But of course you have to make sure it doesn't have one of those like rubber handles. Uh, very important. You don't want to, it'll melt the rubber handles if that was the case. So I'm going to kind of get in the shot here a little bit too. So look at this pizza. Now, it's nice golden crust. And I'm careful not to touch the pan because obviously it will burn me. You can see little bacon bits and pepperoni. Let me cut off the oven and hopefully you guys like that. <clears throat> so let me get this back up here. Let me see these comments. Um, you should watch Superstore. It's very funny. I think I've seen that one. 
What's your favorite food? My favorite food is desserts, but really anything Italian, whether it's lasagna, pizza, spaghetti, stuff like that. Uh, jam, jelly, either way, it's good. You're right. I'm with you on that. <laughs> I say either way, like jam or jelly, but some people get real technical. You should see my comments. <laughs> uh, great videos. Easy on the eyes. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, would you ever eat large bag of cheese? Bag of cheese and nothing else? Just bag of cheese? Sure. I love cheese. So, hopefully you can see that. I have to look and see. Yeah, look at that. So, this is our pizza, our homemade pizza. We're going to cut into this thing in a minute. But I'm just going through the comments and looking through again. <clears throat> Yum. Would you ever eat a large bag of cheese? Mmm. Um, Looks good. Your name is Josh Walsh. Walsh, how to make pizza nachos? Hmm? Good, Josh. Pizza nachos is good. Uh, your Wi-Fi disconnected. Darn. <clears throat> uh, what is your favorite thing you have made with Mountain Dew? Hmm. I would say the Pop Tarts. Mountain Dew Pop Tarts was my favorite thing I ever made. Uh, let's see. Digimon is Digital Monster, short for. Okay, Digital Monsters, Japan Media Franchise. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Oh, thank you, uh, Courtney. I appreciate that. You make really cool videos. Thank you. So what do you say we cut into this thing? And I'll angle the camera down in a minute. Let me get a plate. Um, we'll cut into this and scoop some out. <clears throat> but of course, I'll let you see when I cut into it. That is the fun part after all, right? Um, let's see. So, let's, uh, are you going to load? Uh, oh, no, it's okay. Uh, you can watch this replay of when I'm done doing a live stream. This will replay, and it'll show you all the steps, because I did it very early on, because I knew we needed time for this to bake and cook. Now, typically, I let pizza rest a little bit. We did let it rest about maybe two minutes or so here. Um, but let's cut into this thing and I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Look at all that cheese. Love cheese pull. <laughs> so I'm just going to scoop this out. Look at this cheese. Oops. <laughs> so here we go. Look at that cheese pull. All right. So now let's, um, I'll bring it back up so that you can see me try this. Still quite warm, but it'll be fun to watch. Actually, I'm going to let it cool a little bit more because I can just feel it in my hands how warm this is. Uh, let's see. Make a, just wanted to take a moment and really say I really like your videos. Thank you so much, Timothy. I appreciate that. Uh, there's a Mountain Dew ice out. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Are you going to load how? Oh, that's right. Like I said, if you missed how I started out making this, don't worry. You can, when I'm done doing this live stream, it'll be up there on my YouTube channel so you can see it. And it's the whole live stream with all step-by-step -step instructions of how to do this. So it'll be up there. It'll, it'll be up there so you can see it. It's a very simple thing. It's pretty much Grand's Biscuits, um, some sauce, some cheese, and then meat of your choice. I use pepperoni and bacon bits, uh, or cooked bacon, but yeah. Uh, did I ever load up the Mountain Dew Pop-Tarts? Yes, I did. Um, it's been a couple months, but it's on my channel. So if you go into my channel, and you can either just search Mountain Dew or Mountain Dew Pop-Tarts, you will see them. And uh, yeah, or under my Mountain Dew playlist. I have a Mountain Dew playlist with all my Mountain Dew recipes and it's in there as well. So if you just go to my channel at Fun Foods YT and you can see the Mountain Dew Pop-Tarts, it's on there. Um, I wish you be my chef. You can make everything in my house because big fans. Uh, do you like Jersey Boys? Um, I've seen part of Jer Jersey Boys, the, like the um, stage show. In fact, one time they had a, a stage show in Atlantic City, and I actually I gave my tickets to my father and my aunt so they can see it. Uh, 
So your uh, Brooke says your friend, my friends and I watch your videos when we hang out. It gives us ideas for cool stuff to make. Awesome. See, I love that. I love that uh, you get to share, you know, have time with your friends and you get to just do fun stuff like that. Make videos, pick out some videos that you really want to make. And it's that quality time you have with your friends that's really important because you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. And that's really cool. And that makes me feel good that I'm able to uh, give you guys, um, you know, these really cool recipes so that you can have fun and just enjoy time with your friends. And that's that's awesome. <clears throat> cool. Uh, how many videos do you plan on uploading per week? Uh, and your cinnamon roll looked good you need to so here's the schedule what i plan on doing going forward is every sunday for the past almost four years now i've made a video and it's been a recipe video every sunday and i'll continue to do that every sunday at two o'clock eastern time there'll be a video up i'm trying to do every saturday i'm putting a mountain dew video up. it's going to be specifically mountain dew videos on saturdays and then on Tuesday nights, I'm going to try to do live videos, but of course I have some travel coming up. So that might be, you know, my time is going to be messed up on that. And I may not do live. We'll see. I might have to do it on the road, which, you know, complicates things. So I'm going to try to do Tuesday night live videos like this one. And then I'm going to try to do a bonus video on Thursday night, but I can't promise it because it's a lot of work because I am a one man show. I make the videos. I edit the videos. I do it all. I also write write my blog post for the recipes. Um, and then, of course, I have to do the dishes when we're all done with all this. So it's a lot of work, but I'm trying to do it. I want to do more videos. Um, I really want to, you know, a lot of people have made great suggestions for videos. So I really want to make as many as possible um, to use those suggestions that people have been making. And I really appreciate those suggestions. So thank you so much. Um, let's see, you're new to my channel and you've tried tons of things. I love this stuff. Thank you so much, uh, Randy. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, like I said, I love making these videos. I love, you know, um, sharing them with you guys and it's just fun. What do you say I bite into this and, um, it's cooled down enough so I can bite into it. Hmm. It's actually good really good mm. Mm. this is a good pizza I'm glad uh, Tina uh, suggested me make this and I'm glad angry grandpa made it because uh, it's pretty cool uh, will you say to me please huh will you say to me please I don't know to me I, I don't know what that means uh, you are one of the best YouTubers. I watch you and best cook on YouTube. Thank you. Lisa, I really appreciate that. I love doing this and I've been doing it for a long time and I just, I want to keep doing it for a while. Your roommates love your ideas too. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate that. Please make great flavored cough syrup lolly. You like those cough syrup lollipops. Um, it's strange, but it's actually, it might be a good recipe. I, I may have to try that. <laughs> Uh, I've seen them on Facebook before. Have you ever tried doing Dr. Pepper meatballs? Oh yeah, I have actually. I never filmed it, but I have done it. Uh, where, yes. Um, and I may make a recipe on that. That's a good suggestion because, um, yeah, I've actually done that. I've made the Dr. Pepper meatballs before, but never filmed it. Um, how to make Mountain Dew Jello? Good suggestion, Josh. Good suggestion. Too much bread. Yeah, there's a lot of bread on here. So it, it's almost like a Sicilian pizza at the end. Um, so there's a lot of bread for sure. <laughs> so it depends on how you like your pizza. If you like like a deep dish type pizza or not, you know, really up to you. Uh, you have been waiting to bite into that for a minute now. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for doing this because you are such a great cook. You are <laughs> the Ramsey's brother. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. What state do I live in? I live in Maryland. Uh, I live between Baltimore and Washington, D.C., so right in between there. Uh, Bella, oops, will you say hi to me? Sorry. Bella, Cole, hi, how are you? <laughs> D 
do you have any allergies? I do not. I'm lucky like that. I, I don't have any allergies. Um, some medication just doesn't make me feel good where it should make me feel good. So I don't like taking medication. So that's about the only allergy I really have. Is YouTube your full-time job or do you work somewhere else? YouTube is not my full-time job. I would love for it to be, but it's not. I do work somewhere else. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's okay. Have you ever tried making one of those crazy milkshakes that are all over the internet? I don't remember if you ever filmed anything. I have made a couple different milkshakes. I've made a Oreo cookie milkshake. I've made a Reese's peanut butter cup milkshake. And that one I really suggest you to look. Um, that's really like just load it with different like chocolate, peanut butter and Reese's bits and all kinds of stuff. Like less bread, more goodies. Yes, <laughs> true, <laughs> true. I'm with you on that, Kara. Uh, hi, uh, let's see. Brooke McCann. I think I'm saying that right. Brooke McCann. Uh, have you ever tried making anything with red velvet? Yes, um, I've made red velvet brownies. Actually, it's a Father's Day recipe. It's red velvet brownies, but the brownies are covered with a chocolate and it made it look like it's a steak um and i made quite a while ago probably four or five years ago it's been a while uh so check out like it's a father's day recipe it's like i think it's titled like um brownie steaks or red velvet brownie steaks something like that um you can check it out on my channel um and if you just go into my channel if you all know if you want to search a recipe on my channel if you go into my channel page at Fun Foods YT, there would be a little search icon to search videos, and you just and it'll search just my videos if you just like do that. Um, let's see, <clears throat> you got a big kitchen. Actually, my kitchen is not very big. Everyone always thinks it's really big, but it isn't. And then the first time, in, in fact, my friends from R Three Bs, I remember the first time they came to my house and did a collaboration. Uh, the daughter, Brooke, she had mentioned in their vlog that, oh, James' kitchen is so big. And then when she showed up here, she looked and I kind of like looked at her, watched her because I knew my kitchen wasn't that big. And she's like surprised how small it is. It's just really the camera angles and stuff. It looks really big, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, you should try and make red velvet Oreos. Mm. Yeah, I do. I've tried those before, not making them, but I've tasted them. Red velvet pancakes with Mountain Dew syrup. Uh, I, I, the red velvet pancakes I could do. I don't know if I'd like it with the Mountain Dew syrup though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Uh, have you, are you ever try making your own peanut butter with a twist and flavor? I haven't. No, uh, might be on the list. Might have to do that sometime. Try making Oreo rice, Oreo rice. Huh? I wouldn't even know where to begin with that. <laughs> uh, Christina Marie. Hi, how are you? R3Bs, hey, you made it. I just talked about you. you were your ears ringing? <laughs> Is it pizza? Yeah, let me hold up the pizza. Um, we're done making it, of course. Uh, let's, uh, here, I'll angle this down. This is the pizza out of Grand's Biscuits. Of course, sauce, cheese. I put bacon and pepperoni. And that's what it looks like. So I'm glad you made it, r 3 We're just talking about you. You must have heard us. Uh, so <laughs> how long have you been cooking for? Pretty much all my life. Uh, but you know, mainly just helping my mom in the kitchen and stuff like that. Uh, is it easier to do a live stream on a phone or a laptop? Well, it's easier for me to just hold it up and like angle the laptop. Um, but it probably would be easier for me to do the live stream on a phone itself uh, just because the complications on the laptop, uh, you have to have like different kind of software and it's YouTube makes it so it's not easy. <laughs> so let's put it that way. And it looks like the quality is bad on the laptop where my phone, it won't be that bad. Was it good? Uh, the talk that's, uh, the talk, the talk was good. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, of course, we're only talking good. No, someone had mentioned they thought my kitchen was really big, and I had mentioned that Brooke from R3Bs uh, had thought my kitchen was really big, too, before they arrived here. And right after that, right after I told them that, uh, the story that, you know, hey, my kitchen isn't as big as, you know, it looks, 
that's when you popped on. So it was pretty funny. Uh, you just found a recipe for chocolate sal salami. Chocolate salami. <laughs> I didn't know you. Yeah, it seems something out of the box. Chocolate salami, that is interesting. Yeah, I've never thought of doing that for sure. Have you ever been to pizza places in Chicago? Yes, one time. My father um, met his adopted sister in Chicago, and I went with him, and we tried a pizza place. I can't tell you the name of it, but it was pretty good. It was deep dish pizza, of course. Um, I wish I remembered the name. I don't, but that was like a long time ago. Almost 20 years ago. Uh, let's see. Good. <clears throat> right. It really cute, though. Thank you. Uh, what are the questions, though? Um, what questions? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Te Atenge Paris. I think I'm horrible at names, so please don't get mad at me if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. With the red velvet pancakes, not Mountain Dew syrup, but lollipop syrup sounds good lollipop syrup that sounds good so yeah so guys i want to thank everyone for stopping by this uh live stream you guys are awesome i really appreciate everything you all have done and you know sticking with me for all this and giving me suggestions and we're going to close this up and i thought this live stream was only going to go for about an hour but or, or half hour 45 minutes but man it's gone on for almost an hour now <laughs> fried kool-aid i did fried kool-aid before yes that was one of my first kool-aid recipes the pizza place <laughs> i don't remember the pizza place name um it, was, it might have been called the pizza place i don't know that these people are asking funny yeah so Goodbye, man. You're the best. Thank you so much. And um, again, thank you all for stopping by and watching me make this. It's uh, Trailer Park Pizza, which is out of Grand's Biscuits. And we have pizza sauce, cheese, bacon, pepperoni. I really I hope you get to make it for yourself. It's really simple to do. Um, and we got to talk and hang out and ask questions and everything. So really cool. Um, so someone suggested make pink lemonade pop tarts maybe maybe i'll do more pop tart recipes we'll see i know one's coming up in the future i won't tell you which one it is but one's coming up soon pop tart recipe <laughs> at least you try to say my name thank you uh yeah sorry i can't say it exactly the way it's supposed to be said uh the pizza place was genos oh okay uh thank you you have a good night thank you you all too have you ever made cheesecake factory cheesecake i made close to that <laughs> It is not quite as good as their cheesecake. But I have made a Reese's cheesecake, which is similar to theirs. <clears throat> but, uh, you're going to peace out, peace out. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much, for everyone, for stopping by and watching this. And I hope to see you guys on my next live stream. Make sure you watch. Videos are going to be coming up more often. Mountain Dew videos on Saturdays. Regular videos on Sundays. Try to do live stream on Tuesday nights and a bonus video on Thursday nights when I can. So hopefully you guys have a good night, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys soon.